Hi right, folks, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. We got some pretty exciting news, some pretty interesting news, and some news in general, right? I feel like today has just been a news, a constant day of just non-stop Dokkan news. I really want to record this Legends showcase video with full power Jiren, but for the life of me, just I'm not finding the time at the minute. But before we start the video, I just saw this very funny tweet, so I thought we'd just go ahead and start the video with a question. Question of the day, question of, oh, question of the video. Who do you guys think would win? Dragon Ball Super Krillin or SS4 Gogeta? I do want people to, you know, bear this in mind. Remember, Cell Max, and this is coming from Akira Toriyama's mouth, has been touted as a character that not even Broly could defeat, provided that Cell Max was completed. Now, yes, I know he was not completed, but we can at that point assume that he is at least Broly level, right? Broly would probably then beat him, I would presume, or I guess. Again, it's hard to say because the, the statements are so vague, but... This is definitely an interesting, um, an interesting what if or a versus, right? Because for me, like, I don't know, Dragon Ball GT, like, they are very powerful compared to Z, but I don't think anyone from Dragon Ball GT is going to be touching anyone from Dragon Ball Super, right? Especially the late game stuff, so the T.O.P. and beyond. But again, um, I'll let you guys be the opinion of that. So the first bit of news, and there are two different accounts of news that we got today, um, the banner format for both Goku and Cooler is one thing, and the second thing is talking about a particular animation, a revive, a bird, something else. Again, we'll keep that as um, as short as I can, but for this one, I was under the uh, initial impression that Truth was trying to guess the typings, STR and AGL, but then Maverick steps in and says, it seems that we'll have a new banner format. People will be very happy. Now, this... On, you know, base value would indicate that Goku's banner is going to kind of suck or that value will not be there because, you know, blue coin uh, banners, I mean, they are good. They are good in the sense that you're getting an Elder Kai every multi and uh, it's double rates. But these banners are typically released during Christmas time, right? Um, now, Koto did actually say this in the Dokkan Now special 13 hours ago. Details on their abilities and the summon events will be... Oh, God damn it. I, I clicked play and I was restore reading out. Details on their abilities and the summon events that they will appear in will be revealed in the Dokkan Now special planned for the 27th. So we, still, we won't know properly until then or unless they drop a data download a few hours earlier. But the fact that she says summon events and not like dual Dokkan Fest definitely would indicate that there is something amiss or something different. I was just going off or going under the assumption that, you know, it's, they're not really going to stray away from their tried and tested formula of the dual Dokkan Fest, but... Again, uh, seems as if I'm been proven wrong, right? Um, now, if this is to be the case, for me, it's clear as day. Cooler's banner, just for the fact that the red coin is there, will be far better. You know, I think there will be quite a lot of value with Goku's banner nonetheless, even though the blue coins are pretty much useless, right? Elder Kai's, everyone has, even if you get it. Red coins are a lot better than blue coins, and, you know, a lot of these type sports need easy A's, and we don't really know when they're going to do that. The thing with... Uh, the banner format, if it is double rates, that would be ludicrous because it's going to be like a 10 featured unit banner, providing they don't change the, the for, I said the formula, but the amount of units that are usually uh, listed or featured on the banner. But with double rates, like there's going to be low, so many people playing like multiple Gokus in a multi or like multiple Dokkan Fest LRs or multiple Dokkan Fest TRs within a single multi. So if it is the case, that would be a bit of like a give and take, right? They've uh, they've taken away um, red coins, but they've given us double race, which would be pretty. So not pretty, but be pretty uh, amazing, right? I think it would be it would be quite funny. Uh, and you know, Kawhi steps in. This is not new info. There's been a carnival story that's been data mined in the last update for days, but it's impossible to pinpoint exactly what it is. So apparently, this has been in the data the data mine. So the data mine. This has been the game data for quite some time, but we just uh, we don't really know what to make of it yet. We don't. We don't know what this carnival story or this carnival new structure formula is. So, yeah, uh, moving on in the comments below. What do you guys think? What do you want it to be as well? Um, I would still want it to be red coins, but for all we know, maybe Dokkan is implementing a change. Maybe they'll be revamping what the blue coins will be used for. Maybe um, all like super class LRs will be tied to blue coins. Maybe all Dokkan Fest LRs will be tied to blue coins. Maybe they just chuck these units out and say that you can pick them up with a purple coin, and the blue coin is now going to be relegated to super class LRs, Dokkan Fest LRs, or just, you know, one portion of these dual Dokkan Fests, right? Again, nobody really knows for sure, so there's just heavy speculation going on here. We won't know until either, again, either A, the data download, which is most likely going to happen an hour before the live stream, or B, 
the live stream itself. So that's the first bit of news. Again, that's pretty big because I think that is indicating that they're prepared to change the format going forward. So any Dual Dog Confest, I would presume, throughout the year will be changed. That includes New Year's, that includes Golden Week, that includes the Anniversary, um, and Golden Week as well. So, again, big, big changes for Dokkan. I, again, I'm pretty optimistic because I don't really know what to make of the, the tweet yet. I said the tweet, but I don't really know what to make of the new banner format of the Carnival. Uh, so I don't really think everyone should, no one should really be picking up their pitchforks yet. Not yet, anyway. But until we know what it is. And then the other thing um, is that Maverick here does confirm that, you know, I'm excited for Revive. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let me relax. Let me not. Let me just, okay, look, there, there's a bird coming out. That's all you needed to, that's all you guys needed to see. I don't want to get this video copyright extract or whatever, but it seems if Goku is a Revive unit and once you're able to revive, you'll get the bird to, to come out. Now, I can't believe they, I feel like they forgot this mechanic in general, right? Um, the last revive units that we had was what, like Evolution Blue Vegeta, UI Goku, and then Master Roshi during the sixth year anniversary. So it's very good that we're getting to see more revive units. Um, especially because I know a lot of people now are putting great use to the revive mechanics, even though I'd say Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku have aged mainly just due to this, right? Both of them have 150% attack and defense, which is pretty bad in today's meta. Uh, it's not really good enough. They don't really, they don't have any um, defensive raising effects either on super attack. But the fact that you can just use this guy, free revive, helps out in like any stage, right? I know a lot of people um, completed Broly with this guy on the team. I know a lot of people, including myself, completed Cell Max with this guy on the team. I completed uh, one of the Cell Max runs. My no item run, in fact. We have UI Goku on the team. I managed to get his revive off. Uh, Master Roshi isn't being used as much, but he was always a super battle road type of unit because of his... Stunning, sealing, dodging, um, active skill, revive, support, right? He did pretty much everything that you'd want from a super battle specialist type of unit. So, yeah, um, it'll be pretty good. I do not know if they'll change the condition, though. As in, I believe, what, Evolution Blue Vegeta requires seven attacks? Seven or more attacks? No, I can't even speak. He re he's required to get attacked seven or more times in battle. UI Goku is required to evade three attacks. I actually don't remember off the top of my head what... The condition is for Master Roshi. Let's have a look. Um, right, what is it? So, if HP is 50% or less at the start of characters attacking turn, and there are another two or more turtle score category allies on team, revives of 60% of... Oh, yeah, I remember. Master Roshi is default, de facto, the best out of the three. Um, turtle score is very easy to accomplish as well, because it's just all Gokus and Krillin. So, it will be interesting to see what the condition is. I would presume because Goku is just tanking punches left, right, and center, his condition is going to be very similar to... You are not you, I Goku, but Evolution Blue Vegeta's. But we'll have to wait and see. Maybe that his kit has dodge implemented, and so it would be based on a dodge. But yeah, let me guys think of this news again. New banner formats, revive Super Saiyan Goku stuff is getting pretty hype as we like every hour. I feel like we're just getting new and more, more, more and more and new news um, until we'll hit that final day, right? The 27th, 28th. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.